60 years ago, Ghana was the first African nation to cast off the chains and oppression of colonialism. March 6, 1957 was the beginning of a new chapter filled with the promise that freedom would deliver a future filled with dreams, hope, opportunity, economic security, and social mobility for Ghanaians. Today, an infant girl will be born in Gushiago to parents who toil from dawn to dusk to provide the bare necessities of human life, food, shelter, and clean water. Their dream is that their daughter will not go hungry, will have clean water, be able to attend school, and achieve a life free from struggle. Today in Sulpan, an infant boy will be born to a father who spends his days working on an offshore oil production rig, while his mother works at the marketplace, jobs that provide a minimum standard of living. They hope that their son will be able to get an education that will enable him to work his way up to a middle class life. Today in Trezaco Valley, an infant girl will be born to a son and daughter of government officials, both with well-paid jobs. They know that their daughter will have the opportunity to travel the world and experience its luxurious wonders. Today in Airport Hills, an infant son will be born to the daughter and son of Volta River Authority executives. They are confident that their son will enjoy the economic security to rise through the corporate boardrooms and control a multinational company. The story of two Ghanas hasn't changed much in the last 62 years since independence. Only the faces have changed. Where once in our history the wealthy enclaves were populated by the faces of foreign interlopers, the residents are now faces of Ghanaians from the NDC and MPP, who like the foreign intruders continue to suck the life and treasures from our nation. Our constitution assigns us the duty to establish a framework for a government to secure for ourselves and future generations the blessings of liberty, opportunity, and prosperity. Over the decades, the government has not worked for the people. It is a system of corruption, oppressive taxes, and strong arm tactics that benefits a few at the expense of the many. It is time to end the grip of the NDC and MPP. We must unite with the new vision for Ghana by supporting Agenda 2020. It is an agenda with a blueprint that supports the hopes and dreams of all Ghanaians and provides equally for infants born in Daboya, Sampa, Laura, Oda, Newtown, and every village, town, and city throughout Ghana. Ghana is the diamond in the treasure chest of African nations. Its riches include resources, location, a path towards sustainable growth, and most of all, its people. A people that for decades continues to be exploited by the government steeped in corruption, supported by high taxes and our natural resources that it sells to foreign investors. The future is now. It is time to vote for Agenda 2020. Let us imagine a Ghana dedicated to improving the infrastructure that will benefit every citizen and grow the economy of our nation. Let us imagine a Ghana dedicated to building world-class schools, universities, and research facilities. Let us imagine a Ghana where farmers and fishermen have access to a system of modern highways and transportation that will allow them to bring their products to domestic and export markets, which will fuel growth of local agriculture throughout the nation. Let us imagine a Ghana absent of political corruption and high taxes encouraging our skilled citizens living abroad to return home and use the expertise to build a new future for our nation. 
Let us imagine a Ghana where an infant born in Sefiruoso and one born in Accra have the same opportunities to a quality education, equal access to housing, transportation, opportunity, medical care, and social services. Let us imagine a Ghana where public-private partnerships will foster sustainable growth, led and controlled by Ghanaians, not foreign entities, or friends and family of the NDC and MPP. Let us imagine a Ghana where the government enriches the lives of the people, not a government that enriches the officials and their contributors. We must come together and vote as one in 2020, creating a new destiny for our nation. We have the gifted people needed for guidance, the resources for growth, along with the understanding to forge a new vision now that will lead us to a future of opportunity and prosperity for every citizen. Brothers and sisters, it is time to unite, to turn what we imagine into a reality. We need every person from every village, town, and city to unite for the common good of our nation and support a new dawn for Ghana with Agenda 2020. Thank you. Yeah.